Congratulations, graduates. This is a big moment, not on graduating high school, but on making the journey down the stairs from your bedroom to the living room and putting on something slightly more formal than sweatpants. Your grandparents are proud of you. We're all proud of you. It took a lot of effort. We want to recognize your sacrifice. Congratulations, parents, teachers, and coaches. Not that there's really any meaningful distinction among those categories anymore at this point. If you're a parent, you're a teacher. Thanks a lot, China. We're all teachers now, and let's be honest, at the start of this, most parents thought we would be visionary math teachers changing the world, but after about two weeks, we all just decided to default into gym teachers. I'm kidding, my dad was a gym teacher, I'm serious. He used to teach English and social studies, but he always aspired to get to gym so he didn't have to put on formal clothes every day and he could wear the same sort of sweats that most of you are wearing from the bottom half down anyway. But anyway, I know dad, gym is important if you're watching, dad, as if he's watching. Uh, my children aren't at his house and like all grandparents, there's no chance he can get Zoom to work without my children there to do it for him. Graduates. Adults don't tell you this, but once or twice a week in real world life, someone's going to ask you to climb a giant rope. No reason, just climb the rope. Sure, every now and then the rope is a metaphor, but honestly, most of the time, it's just a big rope and you have to climb it. If you don't get that joke, talk to your mom and dad. Back in the day when we were a lot fitter than you people are, we used to have to climb ropes all the way up to the ceiling of the gym all the time. So, Gym teachers, those of you who chose to do it as a calling, and those of you who've been forced into it as a calling, I salute you. So here we are. We're in your living room. I'm on a laptop. You're on a couch because 2020 is a heck of a year. I know I'm not supposed to say this, but you're not missing out on that much because honestly, nobody, and by nobody, I mean nobody, remembers anything about their high school graduation. In fact, a lot of us spend a lot of our lives trying to forget as much about high school as we possibly can. You know what I mean. You, you remember sophomore year. You don't want those memories to be defining for you. And in fact, there are a whole bunch of people who make a whole bunch of money by just trying to help other people forget high school. They're called psychologists. In fact, 95% of all gainfully 